right, there's one thing we're all going to do. This is going to read something for you as a closing for tonight. Because we see you already leaving, and yes. what we want to drive home before you leave, please listen to our speech. Yeah, this is empowerment here. <laughs> as we close this evening, we want everyone to understand that World AIDS Day doesn't end at midnight. Over the years, World AIDS Day has become a global phenomenon that has prompted massive media coverage, raised awareness, encouraged people to get involved, and help amplify the voices of those living with HIV AIDS. Every December 1st for the past 22 years, humanity has taken 24 hours to commemorate those who have died, acknowledge those who live, and those who fight on the front lines of the battle against HIV, and ponder what it will take to eliminate the virus once and for all. We can all agree that one day is not enough. Only so much that can be accomplished during a single rotation of the Earth on its axis. So as we planned our 2010 World AIDS Day feature, we kept coming back to the central issue. How can we keep HIV and AIDS from falling back into obscurity once December 2nd hits? How can we help people carry the torch into 2011 and beyond? Given the accomplishments we've seen take place in the U.S. alone during 2010, it would be nice to think that it is possible to build momentum. This year brought the U.S. its first ever national HIV-AIDS strategy, the lifting of its HIV travel.